Hey everyone, this is Marjorie Wildcraft, and today I'm in uh, Puerto Rico with Claudio Maxwell, and uh, we're here at a, at a biochar uh, facility. Actually, this used to be an old sugarcane factory, but that you know went defunct years ago. And then you like reimagined this whole thing, and now are creating an amazing soil amendment product. You want to? Tell folks a little bit about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So my name is Claudio Betancen Maxwell, um, COO and uh, founder of Bio Restorative Ideas. Um, our team uh, have two partners and I. We uh, 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 there's a pattern in Puerto Rico that uh, there are like 35 sugarcane mills that are not in use, and so uh, this interesting enough in terms of urban planning. This has all the uh, circulate, vehicular circulation that we needed and is uh, centrally located to harvest uh, bamboo to create this biochar. So it's kind of a, we're recycling some uh, infrastructure uh, to create, uh, reinvigorating the sugarcane industry but with bamboo cane. <laughs> so to let people know, there's actually like a couple of rivers here that are just have bamboo growing all over it. And then you also get bamboo from other places. Yeah. And the bamboo had been just, it's, a, it's actually a problem. There's like too much of it. So the... Yeah, it's a, it's a nuisance uh, material. And uh, we have some uh, permissions to harvest up to 33% per clump island-wide. Uh, uh, the uh, you know, Puerto Rico, uh, during the Spanish rule, um, had uh, sugarcane fields that were irrigated. Uh, and to control the uh, erosion, they brought uh, bambusa vulgaris and uh, bambusa tulda in some areas, in the mountain areas. And just with no maintenance over the past uh, 300 plus years, it, it just went wild. So um, it's creating these problems, natural dams uh, on bridges uh, during the rainy season, uh, fires uh, during the dry season that kind of burst, explode because of the uh, inner node system of the bamboo. And uh, also uh, uh, mosquito problems during the rainy season because it collects water. Uh, accidents uh, on, on, the, on the roads uh, for cars. So um, <clears throat> working with the municipalities here in Puerto Rico, they uh, are beginning this maintenance program with us that they're bringing some of the bamboo that uh, is problematic so then we can process it. Uh, uh, and it's because right now uh, all the uh, 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 vertederos, uh, uh, dump sites uh, here in Puerto Rico are at capacity. Uh, so they're not letting uh, this type of material go in. Uh, so they're so finding own, ways to, to You're uh, a great outlet for that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then so, we also do our own harvesting. So, so they, what he's got here is they bring the bamboo in and the process, and they chip it. They chip it. And then this machine behind us here is basically this big oven it's affectionately known as the dragon. <laughs> what a great name. And then out, uh, the output of it is, this is, is biochar. And it's really just kind of like charcoal, right? I mean, it's, it's a, yeah, I was talking yeah. to his head foreman here, and I said, it's kind of a fine line between burning it and, and, and then getting this, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, in the paralysis uh, oven, we were reducing the material to its essence, which is that carbon, and, and uh, the value is the porosity and the carbon. Uh, so we are in the carbon credit market as well. Uh, but uh, what uh, really in intrigues me, uh, and I know my fellow uh, you know, founders, is uh, that uh, it's, uh, it's utilized as a soil amendment to actually benefit um, the local uh, 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 farming uh, situations so, here. So the idea here is that Although we can't necessarily see it, there's like all kinds of little micro uh, tubules and holes that uh, soil microbi uh, microbiology can live in. So like different bacteria or fungi or whatever can make their homes yes. in this. And uh, you, you put it under the plant. So actually one of your farmers that had this implemented, they, they augered down a hole and they packed that hole full of the, the biochar and then they covered the top of it. Yeah, and that was just accessible to the plant roots. Um, yes, so so uh, in order to for it to be biochar, it has to be inoculated with my, these microorganisms, right? right? So it's, this is just this is just the biochar. And then, yeah, this would be the char. And then you uh, and, and so then you get the, the beneficial 
microbes, yeah. like the ones that could help you produce nitrogen or mm -hmm. phosphorus or... Yeah, there, there's even a step further. You can design and get a, a, a specialized type of microbiology that uh, certain plants love, you know, like for tomatoes or uh, whatever you're growing in, in your backyard or or more of a like a coffee and cacao uh, situation. So at, uh, you got to think of it as a mineral sponge, you know, um, and utilize it that way because it, it uh, without changing its volume, it can hold almost the same amount uh, as of its volume and, and water. So, so it's an, just it's think a, about that. It's, it's, it also helps water retention. Yeah, yeah it's kind of like a battery. So uh, the the porosity is very beneficial uh, for um, not only the soil health, but also uh, for our health. Yeah. If you think about it. And if you've read my book, you know that the the soil, the roots of the plant, don't actually can't really actually digest minerals. They depend on relationships with microbiome, uh, microbiology, so different bacteria or fungi. And the bacteria is what can break down rocks or other soil components into minerals. And the bacteria or the, or the microbiology feeds that to the plant. And then what the plants do in exchange is through their leaves and sunlight and water, they make carbohydrates, which they feed to the microbiology. So there's this whole circular relationship, but and providing not only the microbiology, but then the home for those microbes through the uh, biochar just means you can have like an exponentially larger community of, yeah. of beneficial microbes in your soil that can really yeah. help your plants exponentially. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's kind of like accelerating what happens naturally in time, you know, that uh, actually you do get all this uh, microbiology but it takes longer so by introducing something that this you know battery it can house more uh, microbiology and accelerate that uh, that uh, that growth Claudio how, how long does this last if we oh, know, this, do an application of this in the soil different there's different uh, um, times and in, in the scientific papers on that but uh, well, we found it's uh, like a hundred years if you if it's uh, in the soil because you really want to sequester it into the versus soil. Uh, placing it on top of the soil. You really want it to do its job, and and to do its job, it has to be in that rhizosphere. It's a, again one of the farmers that you were, I've talked to that's working with Claudio, and they they just augered a hole and then they packed this inoculated biochar into that hole and covered it up, and it was right next to the tree, and then that's going to be a resource for the tree for. Yeah. more than the trees like, right? Yeah, yeah in drought, uh, it, uh, it will have water, you know, in excess of water, it, uh, it doesn't have to touch that source. So, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a different way of uh, thinking about it, uh, you know, just to have these minuscule batteries right next to the plants that you're trying to uh, uh, propagate. Beautiful. And we're going to head over to where Claudio actually has some example plants with and without it to just show you the difference of the plant growth to, so you can see for yourself. We'll head over there, yeah? Yeah, sígame lo bueno. <laughs> All right. All right, so here we are in the, uh, in the uh, kind of the covered uh, growing area, the nursery. And you've got two, you've got several cacaos here, yeah? Mm-hmm. And you were saying that yeah, this is our control plant with, that doesn't have any biochar, just compost. Uh -huh. um, and uh, all these, uh, if you notice the, the leaf size mm -hmm. and the color. Yeah, so um, if I can show people, bring it up. Yeah, huh? yeah, thank you. So here you got. Yeah, so uh, this, this is uh, definitely doing, uh, there's, something, there's something very interesting happening in there. Mm -hmm. um, so... Uh, so your so, control plant definitely looks a lot greener and a lot more vibrant. This one has some dead leaves on it. Yeah. yeah. So our control plant is not doing uh, uh, that that great. Um, it's it's uh, you know. It's, How long ago did you? Uh, uh, yeah. This was uh, uh, six months. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. six months. They were already at a certain height. Uh huh. So what we did was we just uh, 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 transplanted them and uh, kept the log. Um, it's important to, uh, you know, if we're selling biochar, they know what we're selling. So we did some lab tests to see what the micronutrient 
and uh, if it had heavy metals and, and all that good stuff. Um, and uh, it, it, it is beneficial for uh, uh, you know, the soil. So that's, that was really good news. Well, I think this is such an awesome project, and it's just such a great example of how you can take old infrastructure, oh, reimagine it, come up with something that's incredibly beneficial on so many levels. Mm. And um, he's got a store, and I'm going to buy some bags. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> I'm going to buy some patience. bags of uh, biochar. I'm going to buy some that's uninoculated because I've got another project coming up with some special microbes I want to try. Mm. And I'm going to get some that, that is inoculated just to... Yeah. Have fun with that. Well, so, thank you, Marjorie. Claudio, Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much for your time and for sharing what you know about biochar. Um, yeah, yeah. If you you're bet. in Puerto Rico, it makes sense to buy it here. But um, if you're on the mainland or wherever you, else you are, I know we got folks in Canada, Australia, all over. You know, look for some biochar, and uh, really recommend it. To, it's just such a great alternative to other kind of uh, fertilizers. Yes. Have a good one. Alrighty. <laughs>